Cindy, thank you. New at noon, a dramatic rescue in Worcester. Two workers springing into action to save a woman after she slams her car into a car wash, sparking a fire. New Center 5's Todd Kaskiewicz spoke with the men responding. Firefighters called heroes. Todd? Erica, Emily, good afternoon. So the question is, how dramatic was this accident? Well, take a look behind me. Everywhere that you see plywood used to be cinder block wall. The crash was violent. The rescuers were brave. I just heard the crash, came out immediately, and as I came out, her car was like going forward a little bit out of the building, and I immediately ran down to get my boss. This is what Dennis Koble and his boss, Greg Fleischer, saw. An entire sidewall of the car wash was knocked out. And we both assessed the damage, what was happening, and then Dennis realized that the lady was still in the car, so we tried to get her to safety as quickly as possible because we saw 15 foot flames from the gas. They rushed the driver to safety. It's still not clear how and why her SUV backed up at a high rate of speed into the scrub a dub on Park Avenue in Worcester around noon Monday. The rear end of the car tells part of the story. The damage to the building tells the rest. Basically took down the entire wall, vending machines, um, change machine, every, the inside is completely destroyed, there's water everywhere. It's just, it's a wreck in there. Dennis says the driver remained unconscious. And even now, as she recovers, she might not know just how close she came to suffering even more serious injuries, were it not for these quick acting men. It's pretty crazy, man. It's my first experience ever taking anybody out of a car anyways. I don't think we saved the life. I think we helped her from something else happening to her. And at this point, there's no current update on, on her current condition or cause of what led to this accident. Obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of work. A lot of damage was done to this, uh, this car wash, and so they're still closed. Could be a couple more days before they're back in business. Live in Worcester, Todd Kaskiewicz, WCVB News Center 5. All right.